HT levels, which can cause creatine monohydrate. So everybody says that creatine causes hair loss, and they always reference this one study done in 2009, one simple study that shows males taking creatine showed an increase in DHT. And DHT is shown to cause hair follicle loss. And then the kidney damage thing. People always try to say that creatine causes some sort of kidney damage, but if you do not have any type of pre-existing kidney disease, creatine is perfectly safe to take within the recommended dosage. And even when referencing these studies, we have to keep in mind that you cannot draw causation from correlation, as I've said before. There's other things we have to look at when drawing conclusions like this. Is this individual genetically prone to hair loss because they have natural high DHT levels? Are they taking DHT derivatives for their anabolic usage or supplementage causing and contributing to this hair loss. Does an individual have a pre-existing kidney disease? There's other variables we have to look at. I call BS.